Hello, and welcome back to episode two of Staffy Plays Minecraft. Um, this episode, I am going to show you a thing I built. It was specifically designed to get the on a rail achievement, so that kind of gives you a big hint as to what it is. It is what I like to call the Great Northern Railway in my world. Um, the thing about it is that it's still not really completely finished. I still have to worry about putting doors on the station and stuff like that. Um, but before we get into that, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, episode one and some things I learned. First of all, I do have Windows Movie Editor, or whatever you want to call it, Movie Editor, I guess, yeah. Maker, Windows Movie Maker. And I learned how to split up episodes. So I now can do longer playthroughs. And I will be uploading probably a little bit faster. Second thing I'd like to mention is I tried using YouTube's new uploading system. And all it would do was upload the video and then say it was processing. And I left my computer to process or left my computer on and let YouTube try and process it. And after a day and a half, it still hadn't processed it. It still said... You have one minute remaining. I said, yeah, right, sure, wh whatever. But I discovered if you use the old format, works every time. So I'm going to use that from now on and also Windows Movie Maker. Bottom line is that we are going to be having faster episode updates than we have in the past. You should probably expect to see one every Tuesday or Thursday. Um, that's when I have my days off from work. So I also have my wife is generally out of the house so I can do that. Um, another thing is that my son is at daycare, so I'm not going to be disturbing anyone with cats. Yay. Um, that would be the reason why I am going to be doing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, uh, also, um, Christmas is coming up, so Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, and I uh, hope you have a safe and healthy Christmas, and I'll get all the things you want from Santa Claus under the tree. We're celebrating Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. And, uh, I guess, happy holidays, all that stuff, Kwanzaa, Festivus. Boy, that's an old reference. All right, anyway, I got to get to showing you the train station. This is one of the things that I built. It took me a while to build it. Say I have a couple of, of, uh, of rail cars here. And I have set it up to be, generally speaking, automatic. Um, as you can see, I have a launcher set up. Um, and a lot of people, when they do the, the Let's Plays, or they show that they did a very long railway, it's generally assumed that they are using something to give them extra items, like MC Edit or Too Many Items mod. I don't use anything like that, as I stated in my last uh, episode. <clears throat> everything, and I do mean everything in my world, I legitimately farmed, mined, grew, whatever. So, as I'm traveling along here, keep that in mind, because I took a really long time to get all of this, and I think this was the project that took me the longest time to do. Um, I spent most of August and September building this thing of 2011, if you are watched this in 2012, so that dates this. And as you can see, the sun's going down, which is actually good, because this is a much better thing to show you at night. So, let's go. I, uh, like I said, I mined out this entire uh, thing. I had to build up a few places because sand came through, but uh, that, was, that was a minor thing. This is underneath a very large desert. As we come out of the tunnel, as you can see, you can start seeing the wonderful things I did with this thing. A lot of people just build their tracks. I actually decided, like I said, I make my stuff look nice. I make my stuff look nice. Here is how I decided to put the edge of tunnels. Um, as you can see here, I have the glowstone as lanterns. Um, those are spaced every 15 blocks, more or less. I try to count as accurately as possible. Um, uh, the rails that are the yeah power rails. As you can see, they're they're spaced pretty far apart, and you don't need to space them much farther than this. This gets you going pretty fast. I'm actually gaining a little bit of speed on this. Um, and not losing too much to the uh, to the coast. 
So I place them every 30. So that's that that gets me going. And as you can see, it, it works pretty good. And you get to see a nice picture of me going across the countryside. All the wonderful things. Um, the reason I put rails and fences along the edges is because this is actually a pretty major route for me getting around my world because it connects all my major bases. Um, just serendipity. That's actually true. It's just serendipity that I was able to get all of this connected to all the major points in my world. Sure, pure coincidence. Um, another thing is that, with the exception of these, the space that my rail system takes up is an exact 3x3 three three, uh, block. And here we are coming into the first station. Here we are. As you can see, whoop, we're going to continue moving on. I have set up... Um, hold on a second. Yeah, we are. Oh, fudge. <laughs> I just destroyed my thing. Uh, this is actually a good opportunity to show you that I set up. This is my, my major rail station. It's next to my main base. Well, sort of next to it. Uh, I have set it up so that it has automatic switching. And this is something I'd like to show you people, talk a little bit about. And uh, maybe you can build something like it in your world as well. Here I have uh, the switches. This is a multi-direction, so if you want to turn around and go in any direction, you can. So, basically, you come into the station, and, you lo and this is always off. It's connected to this button, and it will stop you. If you would like to turn around, you flick this lever, and it causes this to turn. This turns this on and off, although I could have just had it on with the thing. I found that, I found that it's better to have it on a switch because redstone torches F up this whole design. So, it's just easier to have it on a switch, so I can turn on and off if I really want. And this design is copied on this side. This makes it very easy to switch directions and generally speaking uh, yeah sorry about that generally speaking I uh, don't have to get out of the cart to do any of this since I can get it but apparently I accidentally hit the, hit the button. Um, this if you press this button see it turns that on gives you a nice boost and again this is exactly the same. This is what I call North Shark oh jeez freaking lightning blue just as you can say this is the center point you can go to Centauri Base if you go that way, and you go to the Desert Palace if you go that way. And as you can see, I have outbound and inbound signs showing which direction and which track you'll be on when you come into the station. Um, very simple to wire up. I destroy that, but it'd be a pain in the butt to put back, so I'll get rid of this. As you can see, oh fudge, I just destroyed a button too. Oh well, whatever, I'll put it back. Um, as you can see, this is set up so that the button activates the redstone underneath and it goes underneath this block and I think yeah it wraps around this block doesn't have everything under it either it just wraps around so that this is activated back yeah I have some enchanted armor Oh, you guys didn't see what I looked like in the last episode. <laughs> well, um, hold on. Let me take off my armor here and show you. This is what my avatar looks like. Yeah, I'm pulling boots. There you go. Let's get a better view of that. Hello! How are you? Wavy, wavy, wavy. Anyway, that's what I look like. Don't I look awesome? Yeah, I found this on uh, a skin editor. I put this together myself. I like this. It's my uh, my personality. All right, back to the video. Yeah. Anyway. So, oh yeah, I need to. Yeah, if I want to keep going, I need to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Put that on the track, push it along, get it fall down, awesome. And as you see, get in, push the button, boom, and away we go.